Okay. Hey guys, I'm here with Catherine and we just got our first progress check and she's just, she's been doing so good. And so I want to kind of share with you her story, um, what she was really going with, uh, going, had going on before and really what her kind of care in the office has really looked like. So first off, who can we thank for referring you into the office? My lovely daughter. Candace. She is, she is amazing. She has her own really great testimonies, but she obviously, she did so good. She was like, you know what? We're going to trust you enough with my mom, which that's a big deal. When you get to trust someone with your mom, that's pretty awesome. So, yeah. but like, kind of, kind of let us know what, what was going on beforehand. Like, I would say that probably the worst thing was uh, daily headaches almost all day long. How, how long did you have headaches for? Like, how many uh, years ago? Probably five, six years. I was taking ibuprofen. It caused me to have a ulcer in my stomach. It, it was bad. It was bad. And if you've never had a headache, it, it is debilitating, especially if they're consistent to a point where you have to take a medication. Like mm -hmm. getting through the day, not not fun, trying mm -hmm. to, I mean, just headaches are like the worst thing ever. And you actually told me after your first adjustment. Yes, that I walked out of here. I, I stepped down the curb and I expected my neck to hurt. <laughs> because every time I stepped down the curb, my neck hurts and I was like, my neck didn't hurt and then I was like I don't have a headache I have not had a headache since yeah, not, and you, not one headache and you were for sure like okay well my headache's gone but it's probably gonna come yeah, back yeah I thought it was gonna come back but it, it still hasn't and two months later it's, you still haven't had a headache since no. that very first adjustment no I haven't that's awesome so the other main issues was you were having some pretty debilitating back pain yeah and it was hard to even do much stuff. So, I, what describe what was that? What was that like? Well, I could stand for maybe five minutes, and then my back would hurt me so bad that I could. I had to sit down my lower back, and then my hips were hurting as well. My hip would just pop out of place, and I couldn't even walk. I'd have to stand there until I got it back in place. My hip has not popped out of place since then. I forgot to tell you that part. <laughs> then, <laughs> we were talking about all the amazing things that were going on. She yeah. left out that one too. Yeah, and then my back. I can now I'm not saying it's completely gone but I can go shopping for like three four hours standing not sitting down at yeah. all but then if I overdo it <laughs> I'll start feeling it but I cooked all day Sunday my mom had a birthday and I stood on my feet all day until about six o'clock from wow. about seven o'clock I was hurting that night sure yeah sure but I, I didn't even notice it until uh, towards the yeah. end of the day that it was hurting so and my back is a lot stronger, a lot better. That's awesome. So. Makes things way more enjoyable, like birthday parties. Yes, and I've lost like 15 pounds because I'm able to get up and do things. I can walk around and I can yes. lift stuff up. And then I was telling him this morning, I woke up and my arm, this arm, I had a frozen shoulder in it. And usually I can't get beyond this. And I woke up in my arm and I looked at it and I went, hey, what's it doing? <laughs> So now I can lift my arm up. So I'm, uh, I'm lots of good things. Yeah. Lots of good things. And, right, and right before we started recording too, we were actually having a conversation about as we get older and we're 62 years young, and one of your biggest fears was that you were gonna have to live with this pain yes. forever. That it was you were just it was you were too old. It, you, you, there was no hope. This is what just this is what old people felt like, and that's not true, is it? No, because I thought you know what. Um, I can't hardly move, so how am I ever going to exercise again? Yeah. Because I couldn't hardly move. And I thought, this is it. You know, I guess this is what old is getting like, going to be like. And now I can move. And they asked me the other day, because they said, as you get older, you forget how to skip. They asked me to skip, and I was able to skip. Oh, my. <laughs> that, that's so awesome. I was like, oh. Yeah, I can skip. So that so that's what aging with grace should look like. Is yeah. we should be able to do stuff like skip. We should feel good. We should be able to go out and walk around and shop or go exercise if we want to. And and that's obviously that's our new that's our new thought process is that we can go do stuff that we want to because we feel better. Right. Right. And that's what we want to share with you guys. If if you know someone who is hurting and has terrible debilitating issues or has to take ibuprofen or Tylenol every single day just to make it through, there is hope. We just have to find the cause of the problem. We have to start working on correction. And the beautiful thing is the body is designed to heal. We mm -hmm. just got to help remove the interference and right. let the body do its job right. Right. And it cha totally changes your lifestyle. Totally. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Cool. God's good. She is doing amazing. <laughs> God is great. And we're going to continue to move her into this amazing, healthy, aging process. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in.